to you. Editorial news for November 27, 2011 continues with the Democratic Republic of the Congo and why the UN Secretary General is telling Congo to remain calm during the Monday election, presidential election, as they will be count, uh, the polls is completed and they're going to be counting. And right now is between the incumbent president Joseph Kabila who's relative of a long time ago. Um, he was a president, I guess. He was a president, and that was when DRC was the richest country in the world. Now it's the poorest. Against the opposition leader, Eritni... Whatever his face name, well, we hope for the best, but they saying that they may cancel the final rallies because of uh, it might incite violence and fear. Well, you know what's been going on for years, and now Kazira, the number one the number one news source in the world told about the history of DRC with the wishes uh, with natural resources of gold and copper timber and now they are the poorest country in the world where people on an average salary makes $300 a year. $300 a year. And hopefully they get that at the end of the year or they may have to wait until next year. The uh, beginning of January of next year. But anyway, the thing is, they're so poor. And they are considered third world. And it's sad. And all uh, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki Moon, all he's just saying is just remain calm, keep cool. You will have a new president coming up soon. Oh, yeah, right. And what he's going to do? They're still going to be making $300 a year. While the president and being the new president be making five hundred dollars a year. Besides that, here it is, DRC, the poorest country in the world. If they don't be careful, they may be the most dangerous country in the world. Because they can be influenced by terrorist groups like Al Shabaab or from Somalia or the Nigerian terrorist group Boko Haram who can influence them how to make money and Look the hell out when they do. They can 
go into different countries like Nigeria, Uganda, Gambia, who knows, even South Africa. But anyway, you know what's going to happen because these are desperate times and for DRC they're not waiting for a handout they're going to go at them so remain calm I think the world needs to be, remain calm that's why Barack Obama the US president sent a hundred military troops to Uganda not to go after the warlord or the warlord was in DRC anyway but to maintain DRC because they may just go off I'll be back with my last story on the LTL Editorial News.